Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Friday, January 7th, around noontime, Mountain Time, 2022. Cosmic ray alert still in effect, KP0 for most of the last 48 hours, and the South Carolina 1886 quake, all on plate today, but the big story, season's first storm drops more than a foot of snow in some areas. Keep calm. It's boom time. Boston in the Northeast, pummeled by a winter storm. A high-intensity storm covered Massachusetts Friday with up to a foot of snow falling in some places, forcing hundreds of schools to close and causing multiple accidents, including a fatal crash in Freetown. And that storm moved up through from Philly into New York and is now bombing out off of the coast of New England. Record snowfall in Nashville as well as winter storm blankets the south. Snowfall expected to set 24-hour record in Wenatchee Valley as well, with reports ranging from 22 to 24.5 inches. The Wenatchee Valley likely broke a 50-year-old record for the most snow in 24 hours. Hours of powers. Daily record snowfall of 17.8 inches recorded at Buffalo Airport as well. And you can only find these articles in local news, none of this being reported on the mainstream, lamestream. Yosemite as well, seeing record snowfall in December, a December to remember. And we're going to really quick take a look at the snowfall analysis for the last 24 hours, which was updated this morning. So it's not going to include a lot of those totals up in New England, but you can see heavy snow falling in the northwest and heavy snow in the northeast, as well as lake effect near uh, in Michigan. So top knot looks like it's been snowing there pretty good and here you can see this system the nor'easter that's moving up it's going to be followed by an alberta clipper which brings a little bit more snow to the region we're going to get to that in the update shortly but you can see that areas in south jersey i just got off the phone with the guy said he picked up four inches and that's in fact what it's showing but from new york to boston a strip of eight to 12 inches and it is still snowing in boston there you can see the storm there Bombing out at 990 millibars. That is a bomber. So that's going to bring heavy snow to Halifax and Maine. It's insane. And it will be piling up today. That's for sure. So let's take a quick look at the GFS model and see what that says. There it is. There are the heavy totals. 16, 18 inches possible up in New England as the storm bombs out there. So the heaviest totals are going to be right on the coast, which is a little abnormal. Uh, and heavy snow in the mountains here all the way down into the central Sierras. And then up here by Sunday, we're going to be picking up some snow in the southern Rockies as well. So that is your snow forecast for the next two days. Now let's talk about space weather. We've been at KP0. Take a look at this. Over the last 36 hours for most of the time, 48, 72 hours even. So this is a cosmic ray alert, and that means, well, there are some implications for human health. And we did publish... Um, podcast yesterday on the cosmic ray alert and it is still ongoing and this means that there is risks for myocardial infarction cerebral stroke terminal arrhythm arrhythmia the most important is an anxiety stress emotional instability cognitive diminution which means there could be more traffic accidents or injuries especially with a long-running kp0 for two days suicide risk mental disorder flare-ups radiation risk if you're flying at high latitudes so be aware we are still at kp0 now, we are in the second year of the solar cycle, and this is, well, indicative of the grand solar minimum and a dying sun. With this type of inactivity two years into the cycle, wow, enough said. Now, the sky this month, we could be looking at some phenomena happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. What we have is a planetary alignment. In fact, uh, there is, wait for it. Okay, four major planets will crowd the evening sky in early January, strung like jewels on a necklace, and you can see them here. Bing, bong, bing. And uh, Venus will dip out of view after the first few days of the month, headed to the January 8th inferior conjunction. So this is an alignment that I think might, the January 8th inferior conjunction, along with some coronal holes that are facing Earth right now, 
we might bring the, bring the big boom. And there we have our first big boom just happening, 6.6 .6 in Jingchang, China. So for the next 48 hours, we're on earthquake alert for large quakes. And our first quake just occurred that we were predicting over the next 48-hour period. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on more larger quakes, 7 magnitude or greater happening in the next two days because of the coronal hole and the planetary alignments. Now, a giant dying star explodes as scientists watch in real time for the first in astronomy. And what they witnessed was a supernova take place. The death of a star is one of the most dramatic and violent events in space. And they actually witnessed a supernova. So come check out the article. It's pretty fantastic. Now, let's talk about earthquakes. And the earthquake in 1886 in Charleston, South Carolina, was devastating to say the least. But not a lot of people are, they know about it. Not a lot of people know this region is seismically active and potentially deadly. The 1886 Charleston quake left more than 100 people dead and buildings destroyed. It was the largest recorded earthquake in the history of southeastern U.S. $5.5 million in total damage at the time would be $20 billion in today's numbers. Now, the quake remains a mystery. Or does it? Here is a 1986 perspective. The 1886 Charleston, South Carolina earthquake. I just dug it up for you. A PDF report from the U.S. Geological Circular 985. And we're going to provide it for you if you want a better perspective on the risks of earthquakes near Charleston, South Carolina. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper fire planning prevents piss poor performance. Click the links below the video to gain more knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. We love you. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. You keep us going. That's a boom. Be safe. Mm -hmm.